2016 Ford Focus RS is a fantastic hot hatchback that offers plenty of performance at a very respectable price. £31,000 gets you 345 brake horsepower, 0 to 62 miles per hour in just 4.7 seconds thanks to all wheel drive, and a top speed of 165 miles per hour. All of this while seating 5 and fitting the shopping in the boot. By now, I'm sure you're all well aware of what the RS can do, including its drift mode party trick. Now some people in Australia, for want of a better phrase, are losing their shit over this. For clarity, it isn't just Australians, nor is it the majority of people. I think what kicked over a fair few dominoes on the internet was John Cadogan's video where he gets pretty vexed about the Focus RS being equipped with drift mode. Watch his video for the full rant, but in a nutshell, he thinks it's irresponsible of Ford to put the function in the car, regardless of whether it's stipulated for track use only or not, because one day, some idiot will use it on the road and potentially hurt someone. Now I can totally see what he's getting at, but he goes on further to put Ford in the dock and says that they should be responsible for how their customers use their cars because they tempted them. That's the part where I disagree. If you're going to say that Ford should not put drift mode in their car because it encourages driving that could be dangerous, you also need to take this issue up with just about every other manufacturer under the sun. How many performance cars have a sport button, or race mode, or launch control? Each of these features are designed primarily to enhance the output of the car in one way or another, and if we were to tarnish every brand with the same RS damning brush, then who's to say that race mode is any less tempting than drift mode? Moreover, that logic would also outlaw any car with more than about 150 brake horsepower, as additional power could be said to encourage people to speed. Hopefully you can see what I'm getting at. Yes, it is a mathematical certainty that someone will crash a 2016 Ford Focus RS whilst using drift mode, but it's no more likely than an individual colliding with a lamppost in their rear wheel drive Toyota GT86 whilst showing off to their mates. What's your thoughts on the issue? Leave a comment below. Thank you very much for watching and let us know what you think in the comments below. Please subscribe for more on the latest and greatest cars to hit the road. For all of the latest automotive news, written reviews and coverage from motor shows, go to www.insidelane.co.uk.